animal's delicious flesh can keep us all alive for another week. I don't want to be alive without Ponty. This pig is everything to me that my daddy never was, and I'll be dead, dead. <laughs> Sankowitz? What? You hit me in the face with a ball. Oh, come on. A truly great actor can stay in the scene no matter what's happening around her. Huh? No. He is a wonder. Bravo. <laughs> That's him. That's him right there. Mr. Bowman, you're under arrest for the murders of some people. <laughs> what's happening? What's happening? There is no way my violinist husband would harm anyone. People do crazy things for money. Mr. Bowman doesn't need money. Now, all he cares about are his socks and violins. Socks and violins don't come cheap. <laughs> hey! Don't be fooled by the size of my knife. <laughs> now you're all gonna be murdered. In the dark! Tut and Well, that was the worst short film I have ever seen at this school. <laughs> How's your eggplant? It's fine. How's your spaghetti? I hate you! Why? I'm not having spaghetti, I'm having spaghettini. What's the difference? Spaghettini is a very thin noodle, spaghetti is a relatively fat noodle. We've been over this. I forgot. I mean, why did we even take a pasta class together? And done. We're done? But we still have a few more lines. No, I meant this is done. What is that? Well, it was a jar of cream, but now that I've shaken it vigorously for an hour, it's butter. You make your own butter? Indeed. Is it good? I don't know, I refuse to eat dairy. <laughs> oh, there's been a burglary! Ah, they could still be here. Bananas! <laughs> Check the room. Under desk, clear. Closet, clear. Middle of the room. This area from here to like right around here, this whole section I'm indicating with my hand gestures, clear. <laughs> Tony, you're holding your banana backwards. Are you sure? Because it's my understanding that the banana. <gasps> I told the chief they shouldn't put idiots on the blonde squad. <gasps> Look, there's Mikulski's bird. Hey, bird. Who cracked that safe? Talk! Cat! Cat! You have the next line. No, the bird does. No, no, we put the bird's line in later. Oh, okay, I'll wait. And cut! Just tell us where the girl is. I told you, I don't know! Okay. If you don't know, you don't know. Oh. Now do you know? Hey, man, get your partner off of me. You better tell her what she wants to know. You got three seconds to talk. I, I don't, I... Oh. Oh. She's in my basement! She's in my basement! Boring. All right, don't get all mad. I was just saying I that. know what you were saying. Kev, I just... Look, if you think my sister's a freaky weirdo, then why don't you just say so? You liking it so far? Your sister's a freaky weirdo. I can't believe you'd say that. What you just told me? Get out me? of here! Get out of my ranch! Don't house, you like Kev. that? Give me a hug. Give me a hug, You're doing too much. Get out! Get out of here! Get out of here. You got your wish. Oh, I'm sorry, Mandy. I thought he was my friend, but anyone who'd call my adopted sister a weirdo is no friend of mine. No, I can't understand you. Not with your speech impediment. 
Uh, you're, you're hungry. You're frightened. Uh, you're sticky. You're Canadian. You like my pants? Oh, I don't understand. You want me to come closer? Hear your thoughts. <laughs> Tori. What do you mean you're not the yeah. same as me? You wrote this play? Yeah. You like it? <laughs> you're not of this earth. What does that mean? You you're from another planet! <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> okay, come on. If you're an alien, why would you pretend to be my sister? Here! In the simple ranch house. <laughs> okay. Okay, then prove it. You ready for this? Yeah. Get excited. <laughs> oh, how did she get her feet so white? <laughs> well done, Funyi. Oh my gosh, how come you never told me what to do? Get him down! Stop the play! Well, I guess someone should get this on video. We come to this play. <laughs> They're poor ranch house. <laughs> Please tell me it's over. It's over. Tori and Jade, you two are going to play husband and wife. I'll be the wife. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Here's your brand new synthetically redheaded baby. Wait, before we start, I was just wondering, I have three questions. All right, now, your dialogue should all be friendly and happy, but your subtext is anger. So you must say your happy lines angrily. Action! Hey! I am so honking happy that we got married and then had this cute little baby. Ditto to that! I tell you, this, nothing on this planet warms my cockles more than looking at this magical pile of baby right there. Goo! No! Oh, did you hear that go? Excuse me, I hate to interrupt, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Hello, children. Psychowitz. Helen. Well, I'm just stopping by all the classrooms and say hello, you know, introduce myself personally, you know, get a feel for the vibe of the school. Hmm. You see him? That's the spazzy boy whose bike I ran over. <laughs> spazzy. All right, now in action, Melinda and Jeff will start their dialogue. Then our waiter, uh, Beck. Beck. My boyfriend. Her boyfriend. <laughs> will come in, do his line, then move off to the left. Who's not ready? Good. Roll. Rolling. Speed. 74, Apple, take one. And action. Why the disgusted look on your face? I'm having dinner with you. See, that's the kind of attitude that got you fired. I got fired because I was set up. Good luck proving that. I don't have to prove anything. All I needed was- I'm sorry, was... the chicken breast isn't available today. Wait, what did you just say? Cut! Can we cut so this guy can learn his line? Oh. Uh, Melinda, please, only the director yells cuts. He said his line wrong. He's supposed to say, we're out of the chicken breast. Not, the chicken breast isn't available today. So let the script supervisor tell you him You know that. what? Um, she's right. It's, it's totally my fault. I'll get it right this time. Hope so. Great. All right. Uh, let's do this again. Roll! Oh, uh, wait, excuse me? Um, actually, Beck got his line right. Huh, sorry. <laughs> no, no. No, no. What? Sit. 
down. See, waiter number one's line is, I'm sorry the chicken breast isn't available today. Oh, yeah. Kid, you had it right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you? Tori Vega, background player, big fan. Hi, Melinda Murray. <laughs> okay, an extra is correcting me on the set. I'm sorry, but you yelled at my friend and he was totally she's right She's your about... friend? Yeah, she's... Go. Uh... Go? I want you off this movie. Melinda. You want him here or me? Kid, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it was cool. No, 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 no! What, what, why'd you get mad at him? I'm the one who corrected you. Good point. Bye. Ready? Roll. Can you please tell her not to slap me? She should do whatever feels right. Lie down. Action. Monica. Monica! Do not die on me. Wake up! I mean it! Wake up! Come on! Um... Jade? Um... I'll go get some ice. Fantastic. I know we did great. I, I don't know what happened. You're a killer. I'm not. I loved her. You're a killer. I loved her. Listen. <laughs> Miss Travis, listen to me. What? This is a simple surgery. I've done this operation hundreds of times. You'll be fine. Oh, what if I'm not fine? What if I, I die on that operating table? I have uh -huh. three. I, I have three. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I have three children. Uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry, kids. Excuse me. I don't mean to interrupt the scene, but Tori, look at the red dot I drew on this index card. Why did you stop crying? What? You were playing the role of a crying woman who's just been told she's going to have surgery. Why did you break character? Because you interrupted our scene and screamed boo in my face. Tori and Andre, take your seats. I'm trying to teach you kids about method acting. And that means whatever character you're playing, you must stay in that character the entire time, no matter what happens. Whether on camera or off camera, on stage or off stage, you've got to understand that... Until tomorrow, well, I wonder who will be arriving first. Well, hello there. I am a police officer. <laughs> Would you like some raisin bread? Uh, no, thank you, but please, come in. Yeah, sure. And your name is? Officer Podesco. Do you have anything sharp and a pointy in your pockets that could injure me? I certainly hope not. Doorbell! I'll answer it. Okay. Ah, right, good evening. Come in. Thanks. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> yes, uh, thanks for welcoming us into your fine home. But don't forget to thank yourself. Because if you just believe in yourself, there's nothing you can't do. Hey, I'm pregnant. I just ran 26 miles. Can I please get some water? Of course, it's right over there. Okay. Uh, I didn't catch your name. Oh, I'm sorry, I was uh, just admiring your fine animal statuettes. I'm Kevin Kornbloom, motivational speaker. I've devoted my life to helping teens. Oh, there go the legs. Are you all right? I'm right as rain. Thank you for asking. Turn 21. We got a man down. Caucasian male, glasses afro, possibly Jewish. Can I offer you 
some raisin bread. No thank you, officer. Man, I'm so tired and pregnant. I gotta sit down. Please, take any seat. Thanks. Yes, just believe in your dreams and you can sit in any chair, anywhere. Yeah, okay. Is what part of the chicken do the nuggets come from? <laughs> Can someone tell me this, please? I mean, where's the wacky farm that raises nugget chickens? Hilarious observations. <laughs> please, come in. And don't get me started on airplane food. <laughs> I noticed that you were a stand up comedian. <laughs> where's the beef? <laughs> I am a police officer. Would you like to join me in a handful of raisin bread? <laughs> What's the deal with raisin bread? Is it raisins? Is it bread? I want to know! Ladies, please. It's not about the raisins or the bread. It's about the future and living your dreams. And there go the legs. Oh, oh I think I'm gonna have a baby. Why did I just run that marathon? Oh. You old mingle, I'll get the door. Well, hello, I don't believe we've met. You are? Oh, yes, my name's Malcolm Winchester Fizzleworth. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. It's a lovely home you have here. Mm -hmm. uh, let's step over in that direction. That way there, very good then. Sure. Ooh, got very soft lobes, doesn't it? Thank you, don't pull. Hey, you! <laughs> Why, hello, officer. Isn't this just a lovely shindig? I can see your belly button. <laughs> Why, yes, that is my belly button. Have you ever considered filling it with raisin bread? Well, no. My name is Betsy Sue Goldenhard. I live on a farm in Alabama, just north of a little. <laughs> <laughs> now you're eating raisin bread. Mm, I just love eating cereal that's been manhandled by your filthy hands. Uh oh. I spy a fly with my little thigh. Thigh? Come here, you winged nuisance. Where'd it go? Well, I believe the fly in question went this way, and then that way, and then over there, and then round about, and every way except for that way and over yonder. There it is! Oh, come here, time to die! Wow! Psychowitz! Uh, oh, uh, are you okay? Who? Oh. Who's there? It's, it's Robbie. Ah, you broke character. You're out. You tricked me. Precisely. Now go home. No. Oh. It was so wonderful to meet you. Take care of yourself, mate. You seem like an effervescent bloke, you do. At least you're not pregnant and exhausted from running a marathon. Roland. Can I ask, what is this film about? I've asked her that five times. And action! Uh, um, Jessica, I feel so lonely. Oh, Robert, why? Because I'm alone. No man should ever be alone. You look beautiful in this moonlight. Her hair! What? That's the line where you stroke her hair. You, you forgot to stroke it. Right. Uh, you look so beautiful in this moonlight. <sighs> oh. Oh, Jessica. You kiss. Hey! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Okay, so what do you think of her? Why do you keep doing this? What? During every audition, you stop the scene right after the kiss, then yank me aside to ask me what I think. Because I trust your opinion about... Are you trying to find a woman for me to date? 
the truth. Okay, yes. Good. Gandhi, why would you think Tell I would need... the lady you've been dating moved away and you've been so sad and depressed about it. Tori, I'm not depressed because I miss Catherine. Then why have you been all... I miss her pet. <laughs> Bunny. Her pet? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cutest little creature you ever saw. Used to sit on my lap. Hop around the apartment. Such a silly... <clears throat> well, you better look again. Because there's been a murder. <gasps> murder where? Right here. On this underwater submarine. I better wake up the president. <laughs> Give me the White House. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, that's insane! Excuse me? Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, uh, we were just watching a video. Yeah, these are two horses, are <laughs> <clears throat> Put your phones away. We are rehearsing a play. Right. Our bad. <laughs> hey, send me the link to that video. Stop that! Jade, let's go from your line. Jade? What's up? Gee, many crackers. I'm trying to teach you kids something about... One second. Oh. <laughs> Captain, the storm is getting worse. You think I can't see that? Now get down below before anything else happens. Oh, it was... Oh, God. Oh. Captain, you've been hit by lightning. Ah, I, I can't get up. You better dock the boat. We're not docking. I'll captain this boat. You? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> that little girl is sick. Help me. Please, help. We've got to get her to New Orleans by daybreak. You can't captain a boat. You're just a woman. I may be a woman, but that doesn't mean I'm not the best dang steamboat captain this here river's ever seen. Men will always tell you how they do it all While women do the work you never see But so is it what happened You're in great need of a captain Oh, a captain and that captain is me And so is it what happened We're in great need of a captain Well, the captain is, the captain is she Scene 21, Apple. Take one. <laughs> Ready, Tori? Yeah. All right. And action! <laughs> now read the note. And spill the coffee and fall! <laughs> Cut! Tori, what happened? I fell the other way. I think it worked pretty well. No, it didn't. You need to fall this way, through the railing. Right. OK. Resetting. Rolling. Speed. Hold. Scene 21A, take two. <laughs> and action! One sec! Uh, what's going on up there? I, uh, I got a text message. I have to pee. You got a text message that you have to pee? It's a new app called Pee Minder. It was 1934 when my husband left me. Alone. Living on the prairie was a dreary existence. No telephone, no radio. Only a large, majestic bird with whom I shared my feelings. One day when I was feeling low, I said to him, Oh, bird, you can fly. You can soar miles from this lonely place, yet you stay. Why? And apparently, my question rang true. For that afternoon, the bird left. And so went my spirit. <laughs> How was that? What do you mean? Did I do the scene right? Oh, no, not at all. Okay, then 
What did I do wrong? You'll have to perform the scene again tomorrow and get it right, or else you cannot be in Andre's play or any other. But can you tell me what I did wrong? No, I can't. I don't get any feedback. That is correct. But drive by acting exercise. You're all terrified dolphins. Go! <laughs> Live the fear. Action. Oh, I certainly did enjoy the bingo. Although I do miss Bob Hope. <laughs> Give me your money. What? Are you playing? Give me your money and your watch. Well, wouldn't you rather have this? Ow! Butternut! Butternut! She's bleeding! Cut! Let me see, let me see. Are you okay? No, Tori hit me in the face for real! No, I didn't! Tell that to my bloody eye! Ow! All right, you better sit down. Somebody grab a chair. Yeah, quickly, get a chair. Quick, get a chair. Here, here, here. Here you go. Here we go. Just sit down. Ah! That was a breakaway chair! Okay, you want to know what I really think? Lana, put the fork down. Just put it down. You want to know what makes me sick? Is it eating tuna fish on a Ferris wheel? Because I did that once and I threw up on a bird. Shh, she's rehearsing a scene. Yeah, my father's a deadbeat, but you can't make me blame him for what I am, because you're the one who did this to me. You're garbage! <laughs> what? What's so funny? You, the scene you were doing. <laughs> Right? Wasn't it ridiculous? <laughs> oh, sure, go ahead, laugh at my acting. Oh, Tori, we're not laughing at your acting, we're laughing because of your acting. <laughs> Just tell me why you tried to push your uncle off that cliff. I'm done talking to you. Answer me. You ask me one more question, I'll rip that pencil out of your head and stick it right in your neck! Amazing. That was one of the best auditions I've ever seen. Really? Oh, yeah, I mean, you just went for it. Oh, my God, thank you guys so much. And we totally give you the part. If it wasn't for your gorilla injuries. Well, it still means a lot to know that you would have given me the part. Get well soon. Thank you.